Hello, everyone, and I hope you're enjoying your Saturday evening. I am um, doing what I do best, which is on the tube. I've been out earlier with my dogs, taking them to the vet, making sure they're okay with their health and all of that stuff. Went out for lunch with my mom, and now I'm at home washing clothes and doing other things such as YouTube videos. Okay, but enough of me. I hope you are doing well. And you're kicking back and just relaxing or having fun with the family. But I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing to my channel and coming over and seeing what I have put out as a video. And hopefully you're enjoying it. Okay? All of those pleasant trees are out the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you for my new subscribers, my old subscribers, and my subscribers that are on the fence. Okay? Stop being on the fence. Jump off the fence and come on over to the family affair. You top. Excuse me, YouTube style edition. All right, and that's Deb Chanel's 48th World. But well, why don't we get right on into those uh, salation story I got from, let's see, who was it from? U.S. Magazine or U.S. Weekly Magazine. All right, they put out a nice story on Kenya Moore and Marlo Hampton. And again, Kenya is in the forefront trying to call the shots. All right. The uh, journalist over there at U.S. Magazine, her name is Sarah Heron, and she put out this article on the two women of Real Housewives of Atlanta. One is a co-star, a uh, uh, full-time peach holder, and the other one is a friend of a friend, <laughs> cast member, okay? But let's get on into the story. She titles it, Kenya Moore Calls for New Cast Members on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. After declaring she bored She's bored of Marlo Hampton. Now, who does that? Katie, you just got back on the show, baby. And now you want to say who you want there, who you don't want there. Come on, girl. Please. Everybody need employment at this time. Stop shaking the tree. So it just runs dry. And it's just you up there. Now, you know, we don't want to just see you up there. Okay? You can hold a show, but you can't hold it all by yourself. Now, we need other actors and players in the game, okay? Especially on Real Housewives of Atlanta. You see, it doesn't say Kenya Moore's Real Housewives of Atlanta or Housewife of Atlanta. It says why. So, that means we need other participants. So, stop it, girl. Stop it now. When we go on into the article, it says Kenya Moore is ready for new faces in Atlanta. The Bravo star who returns to the Real Housewives of Atlanta in the upcoming 12th season, threw shade at Marlo Hampton during an exclusive interview with U.S. Weekly. Okay, biggest Real Housewives feud ever. I'm just kind of bored with it. Yeah, I think we need something new. Kenya 48 told U.S. at Baby's Quest, let's make more babies fundraiser gala on Monday, October 21st. I think we need... Housewives or friends of the show that bring something new, and we've seen her for eight or nine seasons. I'm kind of just over it. Sidebar, okay, flag on play. Kenya, you just set out one season, and now you're trying to come uh, change the whole cast and the friend members of the cast. Come on, Kenya, you're doing too much. You just got back. Play your role, okay, baby. Play your role one person at a time. You're still working on Nene. You hadn't cast Nene out to dry yet. She's still in full fledged effect. She's running rampant over there at the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You and her have been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and we've been loving every minute of it. Now you want to change up? You want to bring a new player in the game that we're not used to? Come on, girl. Think about it, Cynthia. I mean, not Cynthia. I'm sorry. Um, Kenya. Please think about it. I told Nene last uh, video, sit, think, and react. So I'm telling you the same thing. Sit your butt down. Think about what you're doing and what you're saying. Then react with a true game plan. Okay? Now, moving back to the article, it said uh, Marlo, who is close with the original cast members uh, or member Nene Leakes, has had a re reoccurring role on the series since season four, 2011. My sidebar, and I loved her being in the show. She is the only one that has been reigning as a 
a true friend of the uh, housewives, and she's definitely been, been an adapting to all of the different uh, facets they did, they put her in with each new season and each episode that she's in. She's flawless. I like her. Everybody seems to you know be in good spirits with her around. I mean, we barely see Shamia Moore, Shamaya Moore, which is Portia and Candy's friend. Uh, we don't really want to see Yovana. That's supposed to be somebody um, Nene was bringing in as a friend, or then it turned out to be canned, and then it turned out to be evil, you know, and we just don't know where to put her, so we pretty much threw her out the door. She's on the sideline right now. When we need her, when we desperately need somebody as a filler, we might think about bringing her in, but we might need to just find somebody else because she was definitely boring and not worth the time of filming. Green Shamar, I mean, yeah, Shamari back. I mean, she's not really gone. Her and Tanya, they just put off to the side. I think they're friends of the show now. We can bring them back. They were a little interesting here and there. We didn't care too much for uh, Shamari's drinking. But, you know, because Marlo did throw her under the bus along with Candy Burris, threw her under the bus saying she was pretty much going towards the alcoholic stage, meaning she need AAA counseling. And I'm like, that was a little bit, you know, a little bit much. You know, the, the girl just getting out, she probably didn't understand how to handle being on live, well, not live TV, but uh, a scripted somewhat sitcom of show. And, you know, because she's used to being in a musical uh group you know them singing so that's her arena so when she had to have filming and cameras on her you know 24 7 when it was time for them to tape her scene it probably was kind of nerve-wracking for her because she, she wasn't used to it i'm sure everybody had that feeling when they first came to real housewives of atlanta as a friend or as a permanent member they had to go through you know the stages of learning to be filmed you know on purpose you know what i'm saying on the spot and then the things that you probably wouldn't want in it and you want to edit it out, they probably use that. So it's just definitely something to think about when you're trying to be on reality TV, okay? You don't get your way all the time. What do they feel salacious and it's going to bring tension and drama and people to watch, you know, the show while it's being aired. That's what they're going to use. So that's what they sign up for and that's why they get those big ass paychecks, okay? So it's really hard to try to, you know, feel sorry for them when they know the rules of engagement prior to going in. OK, but anyway, just going back to the article, I just think that was foul of Kenya trying to come in and replace people. You know, so I guess she could leverage more money out them because they have less of people to pay. That's my way of thinking. OK, but it just is what it is. OK, we're going back where it says um, when asked about Phaedra Park's potential return, can you add it? I don't think of her at all <laughs> i'm like now dang uh, uh you, you were pretty much infringing on her happiness with her ex-husband apollo do you not remember that pool scene where you know y'all were flirting and whatnot and you were flirting with him before y'all got in the pool or whatever y'all were trying to do on the side i mean yes you was flirting with her husband everybody could see it whether it was just Fooling around, flirting, no harmless, it still shouldn't have been done. You know, you just don't go around doing stuff like that, can you? You know better. But anyway, moving back, Phaedra, for her part, exited the franchise in 2017 after starring on the series from season three to nine. Uh, <coughs> it says seven OMG moments from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Season 12 trailer. Kenya, meanwhile, is back for season 12 after taking off a season. The former Miss USA was a full-time cast member from seasons 5 through 10. Fans of Real Housewives of Atlanta will see Kenya's relationship woes with her estranged husband, Mark Daly, play out on the reality series. The pair who tied the night in 2017 announced their split last month. It is with profound sadness that I regret to inform my fans that I am divorcing my husband, Mark Daly. We already know that's just regurgitated... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, just re, 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 uh, revamp news being recycled all over again, pretty much. Okay, we already heard the spiel of her reasoning why they're not going to be together anymore in a marriage relationship. And we heard his his version. And quite frankly, I'm tired of hearing about it because they still are going to be in the mix whether they like it or not. Okay, she's uh, still giving her accolades. So he's a good father. She plans for them to both definitely uh pro, pro um positive um co-parent together and he's gonna be great she's gonna be great and the baby's gonna be great okay 
uh, towards the end of it. Um, the article reads, according to a source, Mark was unfaithful during their two year marriage. She walked away from her career for him and he had no problem with that and no problem disrespecting her. The source said earlier this month. It goes on to say that two, uh, the two some shared together, baby Brooklyn, she's almost a year now. She told us on Monday that it's difficult to balance the reality series and motherhood. I'm a new mom, so it's difficult, but I do have some help. I just think that you have to take care of yourself first because if you're no good to yourself, then you're no good to anyone else that you're taking care of, especially a baby and a family, she explained. No, balance, no balancing has been something that I've been trying to perfect, but I think that, you know, sleeping and being on a schedule, sleeping is key. Taking care of yourself in terms of exercising, eating well, and then that way you can have time for your baby and your family. Okay, and I totally agree with her. Totally, totally agree. Um, and that's pretty much it. And it's just telling us to um, definitely tune in on November 3rd at 8 p.m. Okay, 8 p.m., not 9, like I thought. But I, I kind of said it was 8, but I really wasn't sure. Uh, but yeah, uh, for people that's on, it's the standard time zone. It airs on Sunday, November the 3rd at 8 p.m. So make sure you're tuning in to get all the action-packed uh, episode that they're going to give us in that first uh, episode for season 12. Because, you know, it's going to be lit. Probably the first three and it's going to get boring. And then after they take a little break before they go into the last couple of scenes for season 12 and the reunion, you know, then they're going to be back on and popping. But I kind of thought, and it just may be a PR stunt, publicity stunt, that they're trying to have Kenya face off with uh, Marlo, Nene's uh, best friend on the show. And to me, <laughs> I'm like, Marlo can hold her on, too. I think she could be a little bit more vindictive and matter-of-factly to the point than Nene. You know, I would see, I would love to see her replace Nene if Nene had to replace. Because she would be a formative uh, person to go and be combative with Kenya more uh, on that high level. She wouldn't back away from any kind of challenge, and she probably knows a lot more people uh, connection-wise uh, in the industry in the industry field uh, just as much as Kenya, if not more. Because, uh, you know, Kenya has been hanging with a lot of influential black people as well. But Marlo, she goes pretty much back uh, between the both of them. I mean, she goes with the Asians, the Italians, the Caucasians, the Jews. I mean, everybody may know Marlo out there. You know what I'm saying? It might be for different reasons, but she knows people. <laughs> okay, because she lived a life. But not being a full-time uh, peach holder, Marlo's been living a very lucrative, like luxury-type lifestyle. So I ain't mad at her. I ain't mad at her. But those are my women, okay, on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. They doing their thing. They making their money hand over fist. You can like them. You can love them. You can be opinionated. Really doesn't matter because they still cashing their checks from Bravo and they taking it to the bank and either, you know, uh, making ends meet or they definitely putting it towards other ventures where they can continue to live in a lap style, uh, lifestyle uh, luxury type of environment that they definitely crave to be in. But that's all I have for this video. It'll probably be a few more coming um, this weekend. I don't know if I'm going to do any more today. But I'm grateful to have y'all come over to my channel to review all of my videos. And get down in them comments. You know I like to hear you all express your mind, express your opinion. It's a wonderful thing. <laughs> it's a family affair over here, okay? Don't ever forget that. And definitely take my polling questions as well. They can be intriguing at times. All right, but that's all I have for this video. Y'all enjoy yourselves and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.